In this video, I will show you how to solve the problem of an inactive conversion tracking. So as you can see, it says inactive. And when you click hover around it, it says on verified conversion. We haven't verified your target, which usually takes up to three hours. And so the reason why the conversion is probably not active is that it is not set up well. So I will take you through a step-by-step -step process of how to solve this problem. Now, when you um before you click on troubleshoot, please make sure that your Google Tag Manager is, is installed. If you don't know how to install the Google Tag Manager, I will leave a video in the this uh, in the, a link in the description of this video. Follow that link and watch the tutorial on how to install your Google Tag Manager first. Because if that is not done, then you cannot solve it. That is the number one thing you should know. Now, if that is done, you come and click on troubleshoot, click on continue, then you add your website, put your website URL and click on connect. Um, now, when you see, it, it says that um, test submit lead uh, form. So I am actually trying to submit a lead and I am testing that particular uh, action. So um, if I come to contact services and then fill this form and I'm just trying to submit an example and see if it will go through. So it, it says, thank you for contacting us. It has, uh, we'll get back to you shortly. It has been submitted. So I'll just click on finish. Now it is saying that this conversion action wasn't detected. And it says, so that's the category submit lead form. You see the conversion ID and the conversion label. Now, keep this particular number and this number, um, make sure you don't close that window because it's very, very important. Now, you come to your Google Tag Manager account, okay? When you come, you're going to see something like this. If your Google Tag Manager is set up properly, you will see something like what I am seeing here. Then you click on tags, click on the tags, and then click on new. So you come to tax, you click on new. Then the name is what? Okay, um, the name is it? Okay, so submit lead, uh, submit, Google ad submit lead tag. Then I'll click here and click on Google ad. Click on Google ads conversion tracking. Then you get to this particular place where you'll be asked to put a conversion ID. So you go back and copy the conversion ID and then come and paste that one here. Then go back again. You see conversion label. Then I'm going to copy it again. putting it there. Now, uh, for conversion value, this one is not a purchase. This one, normally purchase involve a real values like numbers where the person will have to pay money. But this one doesn't involve um, any payment. If it were e-commerce, we will have to have set up an e-commerce event first so that we copy the values of that particular one and then come and put it here. But this one is not an e-commerce. Uh, one. This is just a uh, submit lead form. So it will not involve putting the conversion value. So if your own is an e-commerce related, so where you have um, people buying and purchasing with a debit card or credit card, come to this particular part under the variables. Okay. If you had already set up an e-commerce um event you will see if there are some some interactions on your website someone purchases or take any action e-commerce related action like add to cart um purchase initiate checkout you will see the e-commerce value indicated here there will be a lot of variables and you see the e-commerce variable so you copy the value of it and then you will come and put it under the conversion value but this one as i said does not involve that now you come closer uh, uh, continue. Now, once I'm going to be capturing people's email addresses, I have to include, uh, I will just include user provided data from the website. So after 
you fill this particular form. Now, just click on triggering. And now when you look at the triggering, oh, these are all the pages, the, all the triggers that are here. Now the problem is if I choose any of these, it means that any click at all on any of them, it will just trigger it. So I want to click on the plus here. Then I'll click on trigger. So the trigger here, the name. So I'll just save it here. Submit lead form. Then click on trigger configuration. Then um, scroll down. So as you can see, this is form submission. We have user engagement, element visibility, form submission, scroll, dev view. So what I want is form submission. After that, you click on save. And let me add that it depends if your own is like purchase, as I was indicating earlier. If you don't see patches among the list, you can type patches in small letters. Then after that, um, yes. So you click on save, save, and then also come here and click on save. Okay, so it says you must select user provided data. Okay, variable. Okay, so that's it. So I'm clicking on save. Okay. Then I'm clicking on submit or publish. Escape. Now that is done. Let me see. Okay. Then I'll come back to my Google Ads, then click on troubleshoot, and then go to the site. Go to so it takes me to the site. I want to submit the form. Now submit the form and click on finish. Um, it still wasn't detected successfully, but in some cases, it takes some time up to um, 24 to 48, uh, for 24 hours. It takes up to 24 hours for the system to effectively record it. If you come here, you see here, it says that it may take up to 24 hours to appear in your analytics account. So I will wait up to 24 hours for the data. When I refresh it, it was initially still inactive when I submit the form, but I just noticed a small problem. And when I rectified it, now the conversion has been detected. This is how I did it. Now, when you come to, um, when I go to the website, let me just show you. Say, when I click on this and then submit the form. Initially, when I submit the form, the thank you page doesn't appear. But after I rectified it, now when I submit the form, it, it redirects me to the thank you page. So now that the thank you page appears, if I come here and then when I came back here, and refreshed it, I just saw that the conversion has been detected. So if you do, if you follow this step-by-step uh, -step procedure from beginning to the end, 
and also make sure that your thank you page is actually uh, the URL is changing because if the URL doesn't change on your thank you page, they won't be able to, the, the system will not be able to detect that there is a conversion that has just taken place. So thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell and like this video. If you follow this process, you will get a solution to your problem and you'll be able to continue running your ad campaigns and be able to track your conversions. See you in the next video.